I'm in the mood for a love story. Mommy! I love this table. We stained it ourselves. Let me show you how. I've got Ted doing things all over this house. <laughs> I finally said, Jenny, we're getting Comcast. Oh, you said? <laughs> this weekend, please complete all fraction work on pages 24 through 32. You can leave out problem C, but try to do everything else. Also, try to tackle question B on page 33. For those of you who have not yet handed in your corrected test results, they're also due on Monday. Okay. Find a piece of paper and write this down, people. You mean our agendas. Right. Uh, Brian? I brought it with me to the dentist, because it had the address on it. Good. But I uh, left it there. Not good. <laughs> nice sling there, slugger. What, did you twist your arm wrestling for the TV remote? Make yourself useful, will you? Oh, hard day. <laughs> hard year, my friend, hard year. Hal had to take me to the emergency room last night to get my elbow x-ray. Does it hurt? Not nearly as much as where I landed. Ouch. <laughs> Do you ever find it ironic giving advice to the students that you can't even take yourself? Uh, let me think about it for a minute. Uh, nope. I'm perfect. You're fired. Uh, sorry. Uh, thanks for playing. I'm serious, Phil. I can't get my studying done. I never see my family. I don't go out. I'm disorganized. I procrastinate. I don't eat properly. I don't write things down, and I don't have an agenda. And then I get up in front of these kids and I give them advice and I talk to them about how to live their life while mine is falling apart. When did this happen, Phil? I, I was a good teacher and I was a good wife. The first one I can vouch for. We go to these staff meetings and we talk about how good everyone is doing. And we watch these instructional videos on how to be better teachers and all the teachers in there are either so smart you want to clobber them or so stupid you want to clobber them. Guess which one I am. At least you got a lead role. Go home, get some sleep. You can start all over again tomorrow. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> you got two months left before exams. There's plenty of time to work things out. Thanks, Mr. Shields. Hey, you'll be fine, Bina. You're a good teacher and a heck of a snappy dresser. <laughs> uh, Phil. Hey, don't mention it. What are friends for? You have my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. All right, thanks. What is going on here? I could hear you in my office. I demand an explanation or detention for you. Oh. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I've got good news for everyone 50 and over. Now, for a limited time, you can join AARP for the special price of just $9.95 for a full year. AARP gives you information you can trust. And don't forget all those AARP discounts. It's the smartest money you'll spend all year. Call now. Oh, how am I going to get this coffee stain out? Try a Huggies baby wipe. Wow, that's amazing. I, I wanted to set up like as a guest book. And then when I started working with Lima, I at first was like, this young woman, I don't know how she's gonna really get it and help me out because I had a certain amount of ideas in my head of how things should go, but because she's a really young woman, she has ideas that I might not otherwise have thought of. 